Hello there. This is a video of our final project for machine learning course at NYU Shanghai in spring 2017. Our project is detecting distracted driver with convolutional neural network. This is a GIF demo of the distracted driver behavior. Basically, the driver might be talking to people, or drinking, or using phones, and etc. First of all, let's talk about the motivation of our project. In the United States, according to the CDC Motor Vehicle Safety Division, one in five car accidents is caused by a distracted driver. Sadly, this translates to 425,000 people injured and 3,000 people killed by distracted driving every year. Sounds horrible, right? Our project Automatic detection of distracted driver can help build an alert system that can better prevent traffic accidents to reduce such horrible injury and death rates. Our project's objective is to train a machine learning model which, when given 2D dashboard camera images, can automatically detect drivers who are distracted during driving. Basically, what we want to obtain is to, based on the image, what, whether the driver is driving attentively, wearing their seatbelt, or talking to people next to them or behind them. We acquired our dataset from Kaggle. There are a total 10 classes of data. In each class, there are 1,900 pictures. This sums up to 19,000 pictures in total. We divided the data into training set and testing set. The training set has 1,500 pictures for each class, and the test set has 400 pictures for each class. Each original image data is 640 times 480 pixels, so the total data size is actually 4 gigabytes. Let's have a closer look into our data set. Here are some examples in each dataset. On the left is class 0, where the drivers are safe driving. On the right is class 1, where the driver is texting using right hand. In class 2 on the left, the driver is talking on the phone with right hand. In class 3 on the right, the driver is texting using left hand. On the left is four, class 4, where drivers are talking on the phone using left hand. On the right at class 5, where the drivers are operating the radio. Classes on the left are drivers drinking, and class 7 on the right are drivers reaching behind to back seat doing something. On the left at class 8, where the driver may be touching hair or doing makeup. On the right at class 9, where the driver may be talking to passengers next to them or in the back seat. The original data are not perfect for model training due to the large size, so we use SciPy library for resizing to transform the image from 640 times 480 pixels to 64 times 64 pixels. In such way, the storage size of each image reduced from 40 kilobytes to 1.8 kilobytes. The total size of the dataset is reduced from 4 gigabytes to 33.8 megabytes. Now, the new dataset not only are much better in terms of time in training the model, but also could be easily transformed through GitHub for work collaboration among the team. This is a visualization of our data pre-processing. The image here are scaled for display, so they are not in their exact size. But you can get the idea right. Also, we turn the rectangle image into a square one for more convenient model training. For the machine learning model, we selected convolutional neural network, or CNN for short, a type of deep neural network that is good at dealing with images. We will give a very brief explanation of how it works. The figures we used here are from this article, A Beginner's Guide to Understanding Convolutional Neural Networks. A CNN consists of several different types of layers. The most important is a convolutional layer. 
a convolutional layer is like a moving window. It scans through the image and finds certain features, such as curves and shapes. If it, if it finds such a feature somewhere in the image, the output of this layer will have an activation at that place of the image. A pooling layer basically subsampling the input as shown here in the figure. A dropout layer randomly drops some activation and help the model to generalize better. A dense layer is just a fully connected layer that is seen in ordinary neural networks. A CN is built of uh, many different layers together. And for our model, it looks like this. An input image goes through several convolutional layers, pooling layers, and the dropout layers. And in the end, it goes through um, a dense layer and eventually goes to 10 numbers indicating which driver behavior is the most likely. We used the powerful Keras machine learning library to build our model. Keras can use the popular TensorFlow library as its backend. It is efficient in computing and has great support for deep learning. It makes our work much easier. Here are some parameters for our training. We used cross entropy as a loss function, basically a way of deciding how far the current predictions are from the actual labels. We used a optimizer called RMSProp, which is popular in training recurrent neural networks, but also worked quite well here. We have a learning rate of 0 0.001, that is the scale each time the weight of the network is being ad adjusted. The batch number is how many images are used for training at the same time. Number of epoch is how many times the whole dataset is went through. Turns out that our CN module is quite successful. After 10 epochs of training, we have a 96% accuracy rate. The module is able to classify driver behavior quite accurately. Here is the loss during training, or how far the prediction values are from the true labels. They drop significantly during the first three epochs. Training loss is higher because during training images are used in a batch of 32. The network is constantly ad adjusted, so there are more variance. Here is the accuracy. After three epochs, the model's accuracy is quite high and kind of converged already. This might be due to the fact that we have a relatively high number of training data. Here is some of the correct predictions. We used a softmax function to make the prediction values or the probability values of all classes to sum to one. The model outputs the three most likely predictions. And here are some incorrect uh, predictions. For instance, for the second image at the bottom line from left to right, the person is actually playing a cell phone. But the model thinks that the driver is reaching behind because there is a hand of another passenger showing up in the middle left of the image. Overall, the model did a uh, very good job on classifying driver behaviors. And here is our conclusion. A deep convolutional network can be trained to detect distracted drivers and to classify distraction very effectively. The input image can be of only a limited resolution, so a cheap camera will do the job. Uh, so one minor issue is that when used in countries where the driver drives on the other side, we need to do some small adjustments um, to the image being inputted because um, the driver's image will be flipped. But it won't be a big issue. That's all about our project. Thank you for watching.